My name is Roland Beisteiner. I'm Professor of Neurology and Psychiatry in the Department of Neurology at the University of Vienna. Since 2013, we've been working closely with Storz Medical in development activities. The new method called TPS, transcranial pulse stimulation, has a wide range of advantages over existing techniques of brain stimulation or brain activation. What makes it special is that it opens up a whole new approach to therapy. Among the chief benefits of TPS is that it accesses deeper areas of the patient's brain than other procedures do, reaching as much as 5 centimeters into the brain. We know from functional studies that in Alzheimer's disease it is the frontoparietal networks and the so-called default mode network that are particularly affected. The latter network plays a big part in storing and retrieving memories, things that Alzheimer's sufferers really struggle with. They find adapting to new situations very hard. Responding to changes in situations around them is extremely difficult. These are all functions performed by the frontoparietal network. That means that with this disease we already have fairly well-defined target areas we can select when activating brain tissue. We selected the frontal lobe, the parietal lobes and the precuneus, the core network node for the default mode network. One key mechanism appears to involve stimulating the mechanosensitive ion channels. For example, this is the case for the brain growth factor BDNF and also for the vascular growth factor that leads to an increase in blood vessel growth and hence enhanced vascular supply to the brain tissue. The advantage we enjoy with this new system is the long track record of application that we have here. This technique is familiar and it is safe. One particular benefit of the existing Neuralit system is its body track function. This is a visualization and documentation system. With this software, we're actually able to precisely quantify energy inputs and precisely identify where we apply them. And all of this takes place in real time. Treatment is pain-free for patients. In a total of over 1,000 log treatment sessions, serious side effects have not been reported once. There are six treatment days in total. Each treatment lasts 30 to 45 minutes, and the sessions are spread over a total period of about two weeks. Initial data from pilot studies reveal that highly impressive successes have been achieved with this regimen. Enhancements in neuropsychological performance. Patients frequently report that they experience subjective improvement. This may involve them noticing their memory is better. The patients become more active and less withdrawn. Social interaction is easier for them. And this also considerably improves the situation for their caregivers.